Wasabi, you guys. Guess what I'm trying to do? I'm going to try G Advanced Integrals. Uh, because I don't think I could do, if I can't do G main math problems, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There's, I, I think I think integration is it would be the easiest for me. Uh, this already gave me an answer. Wow. So I'll I'll just use this. Oh shit. I I don't want to follow the multiple choice, so I'm just gonna look at this integral here. You know, I'm just gonna try doing it. Okay. So we had the integral. If my thing can load, there you go. Oh god, I can already feel it. I'm gonna struggle on the first problem. Oh god. My fear of every math exam. The square root of a minus x. Where do I even begin? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> where, where the hell do I even begin? Well, I guess this, this portion here. And that's as far as I've gotten. I don't know anything else to do. <laughs> Shoot, I don't, I don't know. Uh, hmm. What can you do? I don't, I don't even know if that even helps. A, a, a over a plus x. Maybe that's what I need to do on this side. Let's try it. Well, a minus x over a plus x. This could equal. Okay, let's let's do. I'm gonna do this like how most scientists do. Oh, I can't control Z anymore. Okay, well, I'm just gonna let's do it. Let's, let's let's sort of experiment here. What happened if I derive? What if I let u equal a minus x, a plus x, which equals Screw it. Let's just let's just shove it in. Let's just shove it into the integral. Or I'm just gonna I'm just gonna force this u sub because I'm I'm too lazy to to rewrite everything. All right. Well, let's just shove it in. So u, well, this is square root of u, right? And then du, uh, du, and then we have two a. We have this that we didn't take care of. And then we have, uh, it's this reciprocal, so this would be x plus a square over 2a that we didn't take care of. Okay, and then we need to somehow simplify this. This cancels out, this cancels out. We get, uh, oh god, 2a plus x, x plus a over 2a. Huh. What does that simplify? That has to simplify to something. X square. Oh god. Okay, maybe none of this is gonna work. Well well crap. <laughs> this is this is harder than I expected. <laughs> wow, okay. Hmm. Well, I don't want to conjugate that because that looks nasty. Second of all, I. That's horrible. There has to be some sort of. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, I hope I didn't do anything wrong here, but okay, we we got something, we got something. Uh, all right, now now we're in we're in progress here, I think. Uh, I can't find my mouse. There we are. 
So now let's let u equal 2a x plus a. Let's bring in the constant too, because why not? Uh, and then du is going to be, uh, this is just 2a. So this is going to be like negative, and it's going to be like x plus a squared. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, huh. Kind of curious. What if I did like, so like square root of u, du, and then we have this one plus. Damn, but that's not going to cancel out. <laughs> okay. I guess we're not going to be doing that. And that's as far as it can undo. Well, hmm. With this du, I can, uh, this could be, oh crap, that's not a brush. This could be du equal negative uh, u plus 1 over x plus a. But then, what do I do with x plus a? Oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, know, I know what to do now. Oh, crap. Okay, we're going to, let's solve for x plus a. So then the du is going to be negative 2a of, oh, oh, this is nasty. Oh, great. 2a. So then we get u plus 1, 2a squared. Holy mackerel, we are in the nastiest territory ever. Well, welcome to Gmain. So then this has become, well, this is a plus a plus x. So a plus x. And then the du is going to be, oh, that's so nasty. The du, well, we have a negative here. We're going to have the opposite. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This 2a. <laughs> well, I I got the du somehow. Let me just sort of clean my space here. Wow, I'm working on the first problem already, and this is this is this is nasty. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, uh. So let's let's cancel the the twos here, right? Uh. So, but be before we we have to sort of combine these terms, so I'm just gonna go like so. This is technically u plus three, and then a all over u plus one squared. This this isn't this isn't getting prettier. Just 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 so you guys know, this this is not getting any prettier. Cause look at this. Look at this. This this is nasty. Oh god. This is so nasty. This is not getting any prettier. Uh I don't wanna do this. This is nasty. And it's a U plus three. Yeah, no. Retreat. We're gonna retreat. <laughs> We're gonna retreat. I no. No. What's what is what is the what is what is the secret? What is the secret? Excuse me, what? Inverse cosine. Oh no, it's loading. Inverse cosine? Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. If yeah, no thank you either. I don't want to find for I don't want to find your p. Uh, if the integral, ew, then I, oh, hold up, wait a minute. I 
three and one. What? That's honestly kind of cool, but N no, thank you. <laughs> How do they do it? Oh yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. Which of the fo what is this? Sine cube plus cosine cube over sine square cosine square. And it equals to some sort of okay. I wish you didn't tell me the answer or partially. But let's let's sort of do that integral instead, because that looks uh more welcoming. So, Alright, so we have integral. Uh of I'm gonna I'm just gonna abbreviate this. Sine cube, cosine cube. Sine square, cosine square. Okay, well, in my, oh, I'm so dumb. I think, I think it's just S C square here, and then uh, it's C S square here. And so, if you do a bunch of U substitutions, we get something like, um, no, this is positive. 1 over cosine x, and then minus sine of x. So this is just secant x minus cosecant x plus c. So it's 1 and negative 1. So k would be, k1 would be 1 k2 would be negative 1. Oh, okay, so I guess b. Okay, cool. Well, that was a lot friendlier than I thought. I don't know about that one, chief. <laughs> but you know what? Actually, let's, let's just try it. So I can, I can guarantee you that looks like a physics integral. Uh, a lot of physics integrals are nasty. Pi over 2, pi over 2, it was like cosine of x, 1 plus e to the x. I think that's what it was. Yes, indeed. Okay. So how on earth do you solve this one? If that, that's not an odd function for sure. Oh! Let's try ninja substitution. U is equal to negative x. Then, this stays the same because I can just absorb the, the negative. So what I'm saying is du is equal to uh, negative dx, but that negative can, uh, can keep the reciprocal. Cosine is an even function, so that doesn't change. 1 plus e to the negative x dx. So again, that negative uh, is absorbed into the bounds. Uh, what I mean by that is if it was, if I didn't, uh, if I used a negative, then it would be like pi over 2, negative pi over 2. I think a lot of the majority know this already, but like this is equal to negative pi over 2, pi over 2. That's what I mean by absorbing the negative to the bounds. Okay, so now for that, then this is equal and so we get cosine of x I'm just going to go like this plus and then this here e to the x Cosine of x, same denom with the same denominator, and would you look at this? Oh, I guess I could just go like that. So this is e to the x plus one, or you know, what, let me write it nicely. One plus e to the x. So I factor out the cosine of x, right? And this gets cancelled. We have dx. You solve for you, now. Now this is just a, a regular integral. So let me just sort of 
So the answer should just be 1. That is a very satisfying integral. I'd be so mad if it's not 1, though. Yeah! B. Okay. Cool. I don't want to do that. I don't. I definitely don't want to do that. Don't want to do that either. Look how nasty that is. I don't want to find the maximum nor the minimum. Oh boy. Multiple choice. If f prime of x and f of 0 is that, then f of 1 is equal to what? Well... Okay, so I have to find the, the integral of that. Let's do it. My the, the first thing I want to do is I want to conjugate it. When the, whenever I see like radicals like that, I just want to conjugate it firsthand. There are some cases where uh, you will regret conjugating, but that's just the whole point of experimentation. Cool. So then that just becomes 1, and then I have to put some stuff on top here, and then we get the square root of x squared plus 1 plus x dx. This is nasty. Well, not really, but for, for laziness sakes, like, let, let's be honest, I don't want to do this. Uh, well, I'm going to do something very... Um, Let's 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 do something much nicer. We're gonna do hyperbolic sine. I don't know why I wrote it that way. This this should be hyperbolic sine theta. And what this does, the reason why I want to use cinch is because cinch square plus one is equal to cosh, and that's gonna cancel out the square root. If I use tanch, then I'm gonna get secant cube of x and actually I guess I could do that if I do cinch I get cosh cubed oh you know what never mind I regret everything that I'm about to do let's let's just do secant theta <laughs> screw that I didn't even realize what I was gonna go into So then, in that case, this is, well, this becomes secant cube theta d theta, which actually equals to half of ln of secant theta plus tan theta minus a half of secant theta tan theta. Yes, I memorized, I literally memorized the integral because it's so freaking common that I'm just like, you know what, I'm not going to try doing integration by parts, I'm just going to memorize that formula because it's so goddamn common and it's nasty. So, uh, I think that's, is it my, no, I think it's plus. I'm pretty sure it was plus. Uh, hopefully that's correct. I'm pretty sure it's plus. So the way I memorize it, it's, it's literally half of everything and then it's like the the integral of secant plus the derivative of secant that's that's literally what it is and that's secant cube so much nicer <laughs> so in that oh but then i have to change it back to x and that's just nasty and then oh god so then we pretty much have the ln of x plus this is x squared plus 1. So tangent of inverse secant x is this. Uh, and then I just don't want to do the triangle thingy because it takes too long. This is x. Tangent. The tangent of inverse secant x squared plus 1. And then plus. And then we still have this x. Don't, don't, don't forget that. plus c. Oh boy. And it wants us to find c. Why? I don't know why. But, I mean, it gave us uh, f of 0 equals that for no reason. So, f of 0. Let's plug in everything but f of 0. If we let f of 0 
plug in f of 0, we get a half of, wait, if I plug in 0, this is just 1. No, everything would just become 0. So this is 0 plus 0 plus 0. Oh, wow. So c is, wow, how freaking, <laughs> I'm so done. So c is equal to negative that. 1 plus root 2 over 2. Okay. I guess. Okay, well, I guess in that case, f of 1, f of 1 is, so then f of 1 it equals, uh, this is root 2. Oh god. Well, this is a long answer. 1 plus root 2. Square root of 2. That's going to trigger a lot of mathematicians. Here, let me write that properly. Root 2 over 2 plus then a half and then minus. They literally wrote this just to cancel this out. I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so freaking done. <laughs> wow. Okay, well. There's there's my answer. <laughs> you know what? I I rather had that than than anything else nastier. And the answer is A and D. Excuse me. A and D. What? What? Are you serious? Wait, what? 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 I, mean, I got the function right, did I? I did get the function right, but I didn't plug in my values correctly. Wait, I'm so lost. F of 0, yeah, so C equals that, and then F of 1, oh, but absolute value. Wait, but then I have my half. Wait, no, no, I didn't do my function correctly. Oh, I'm so, what? 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 Uh, okay, well, I lost my brain cells from, from that question. Well, shoot. Well, I, yeah, I, mm, yeah, no thank you. Okay, well, that's advance, uh, that's, that, th these are G advance integrals, I, oh. Great, it gets worse. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop from here because, wow, I am that I I can't believe I actually did that incorrectly. I I am sad now. <laughs>